Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use the parental controls using uh, Virgin Media internet packages. And it should be the same for all packages. Essentially, what you can do in it is you can uh, block websites by sort of category, by times, certain things. We'll just, we'll run through all the, um, the kind of options for it. So if you're a Virgin Media customer, the first thing you can do is just come to virginmedia.com. I'll link down below just to where you need to go. And then you'll just need to log in. So I'm already logged in. So what I'll do is jump into my account, sign into Virgin Media. And then in here is all the information about my account. And the bit you'll need to come down to is your account. And then you've got these three options, your package, account settings, help and support. If you jump into the account settings, and then under here, you've got these four options, account details, online security, marketing and device authentication. And you'll want to jump into this one, online security. And now this is the sort of page where by default, this will be switched off. And then this usually by default is switched on. So um, the, the sort of virus safe feature, essentially it just blocks most of the websites that other tools like, um, you know, probably Norton and McAfee, they, they'd block most of those sites because, <clears throat> sorry, they're known for having, um, you know, viruses, malware, generally sites that are trying to get you to download zip files and things like that that will contain viruses so they end up on the virus safe list and then they just get blocked from your internet service provider um you can opt out of that it's not you know you don't have to be on that but it's generally sort of for your own good you might come across the odd site that um has been put in there in error and that is the same with child safe so we'll have a look at this as well so um, with child safe, like I say, by default, it's usually switched off. You can come in, you can just click on it and toggle it on. And then from there, it's going to give you a few options. So you've got three tabs, you've got categories, websites, and set timer. So categories, you know, pretty much just gets all of the, uh, things that you might want to block and it's just categorized them. So, you know, you can see you've got, um, homework, cheating, websites, weapons, alcohol, tobacco, all these kinds of things have just been grouped up and you can even select them all and block them all. And while this can work well for certain things, so, you know, if you want to block, say, like gambling websites, it works quite well for that because, you know, it will just block all of them as a whole. And, you know, if no one ever wants to access those, then that's not a problem. But when you've got things like chat and social media, it becomes a bit more of a gray area because it might be that maybe you want to uh, allow use of, say, Facebook or Instagram, but maybe you want to block things like YouTube or TikTok or Discord. And then that's where these are no longer really that useful because they will just block everything. Um, so that's where that kind of takes us into the next bit. But what you can do, you know, if you want to uh, block a few different ones in here let's say we want to block the weapons and gambling one um, you can just check them hit save and then that will update your preferences there and if we come into the websites tab you'll see on here so if you want to make it a bit more kind of um, individualized what you can actually do is you can block websites in this one here so uh, what I've done is just a quick example so I've just blocked the BBC website and then you can see when you try to come here, oh, actually, is that still blocked? Okay, no, it's not blocked. Oh, it's, sorry, it's because I turned child safe off and switched it back on. Okay, so um, yeah, sometimes when you switch this off and switch it back on, it, it can take a little bit of time to um, to update. We'll save the changes under, oh, there's nothing to, to save under there. Um, what can happen though is when you turn it off and switch it back on, sometimes it takes a little bit of time just to update because you're you're making a fairly big big change there. So um, uh, some people say you can reset the box and and that will do it, and other people say that you can um, you know switching off the Wi-Fi back back on and off kind of does it. But I've I found that it can take different times for for these things to kind of kick in. Once child safe's on, block in and allowing websites tends to be quite quick but child safe itself when you're switching it on and off it can take a little bit of time like i say just to just to kind of kick in we can test that again at the end of the video to see if it's uh, back working again but like i say sometimes it can take a bit of time to, to update itself 
But essentially what you probably saw just about when we got onto that, you, you get quite a nondescript error, just basically that the site couldn't be reached. And that is essentially because of child safe. But it would be nice if um, you could have like a Virgin Media error there to say it's been blocked because of child safe. But the, the thing is, because it's within a browser and they can't really control it, all they can essentially do is just block access to it. So you just end up with that quite vague error message. But if there's ever a site that you can't get to and you've got child safe enabled, what you'll probably want to do is put it into the allowed websites if it's something you do want to access because you, you can quite easily, like I say, if you're doing things like the categories, you can quite easily block websites that you do actually want to access by accident. Um, and it can stop things like, um, especially with the chat one, you know, you, you can block yourself out of Facebook Messenger, or WhatsApp, all kinds of different things. And you'll get all kinds of strange errors for, you know, just it not being able to access those uh, those kind of websites and servers. So, yeah, just just be sure, you know, the ones that you actually want to block are either done individually or you do it by category and then stick in some allowed websites for the ones that you do want within there. And then to kind of take it a step further, what you can do if you're using this, um, you can actually have this um, child safe, uh, the, the kind of switch for the time. So what you can do, you can select it for the weekend, every day or, you know, midweek. And obviously you don't have to have it switched on. It's off by default. Um, so what you could say is, you know, maybe Monday to Friday between the hours of, uh, you know, say 10 p.m. and midnight, um, you could turn off child safe so you can see here it's you're choosing to switch it off between these periods of time so um, you know it might be when the kids have gone to bed you want to switch on some of the social channels or something that they've basically you've blocked during the day so they can't go on there so um, yeah you, you can kind of do that if, if you want to do it like say for you've got the options of a few things there it's a shame you can't actually do kind of multiples of that like a few different kind of statements in there but it's um yeah it gives you a little bit of flexibility anyway to to kind of do that and um that really is the sort of most of it to be honest it's um like i say if you if you switched it on and you think oh actually you know it's just a hassle because it keeps blocking you from things and you can't access stuff you can just sort of wholesale switch it off there so um that that'd be how you'd get back out of it and like i say by default that is how it is We'll see if it's actually gone back to working again now. And then eventually it will just come back with this message. Um, depending on what browser you're in, you might see a slightly different message. It comes back slightly different as well on um, Chrome. In a few instances, you've got it can't provide a secure connection. Uh, sometimes you'll get that other, there we go. The, the connection was reset, it can't be reached. And like I say, if, if this is happening for a website that you do want to kind of get through to, and you've switched child safe on nine times out of ten it's going to be because of that so um yeah just make sure that um you've you've kind of put in the right things and then if we if we unblock it it won't be instant but oh okay yeah it was instant <laughs> uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time like i say but as long as you're not toggling child safe on on and off all the time it's uh you you can kind of go through it and you can make changes fairly quickly so um yeah hopefully that's helped if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments if you found the video useful please give it a like and if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe